Hey, what's up? I'm Siba here again, or the son of a gun. It's always a great pleasure having you here, folks. And uh, this is my first video I'm uh, outputting this year. And welcome to 2023. It was really a turbulent year for me. I do not know about others. Well, if you had it easier or the better way, well and good, congratulations. Make sure it counts. But for some folks like me, oh no, it was not really good at all. It was just full of pain, full of heartache, and full of anything you can imagine that is not good to a human being. You fall in and out of depression. But hey, tears don't mean you're losing. Everybody bruises, and it's okay sometimes to be not okay. That's one thing that society has failed to learn. And one day I'm going to talk about that thing. It's okay not to be okay. Tears don't mean you're losing. Everybody bruises. It's okay not to be okay. But for now, I'm going to be talking about something called grudges. Now, many of you out there are keeping grudges, holding on to things that have no fundamental basis, that have no objective basis why you carry that grudge against that person. N absolutely no much reason that you would put onto the table and say, I am angry and I'm having a grudge against this person because of this. And even if it was there, one thing you're going to understand, life is really weird. The people you have a grudge with, you didn't have a grudge against those people for no reason. Either you have that grudge against those people because those people tried to call you to book or correct you. Or you have a grudge against those people because you are the one supposed to set an example. We'll talk about this and more when I return. We're still talking about grudges. Why do you have the grudge against the person that you have a grudge against? Why are you choosing to keep that onto your chest? I understand one time I was doing research and I came to realize that religion has reached three corners of the world. And the Bible says that after religion shall have reached the four corners of the world, then he shall return. So probably maybe he's about to return. But okay, let's put away the Jesus thing. But religion has reached the, four, the three corners of the world. And most people are religious people. Why are you contrary to the doctrines that you claim to believe in? Religion. There's no religion in this world that asks, asks anyone to have a grudge against another person. Why do you carry those things? Why do you make your heart heavy over things that do not benefit you? My late mom used to say, never, ever run a business at a loss. According to me, having a grudge against someone or people is running a business at a loss. Can you carry that feeling and take it to a bank and liquidate it into money? No, you cannot. So why are you doing it? For the time you have carried it, does it add value to you as a human being? No, it doesn't. You might say, Sima, you do not know what people have done to other people. And people can just not let go. I understand if you have a mind, body and soul, then you have a right. You actually just don't have a right. It's normal to be angry, but it's abnormal to have a grudge against someone. 
Because some of these grudges, you forget that you are in a place sometimes, at workplaces, in a system that is interconnected and intertwined into each other. And sooner or later, a day is going to come when you will keep on bumping into these people. So how do you deal with this constant awkwardness? Why do you keep it? What value does it add to you? I've seen many of you post on social media videos of dogs and cats coexisting. And Lucky Dube one time sang, the cats and the dogs have forgiven each other. Why have you not? Why don't you put away that grudge and just move on? The only people that have made peace with to keep their grudges and because they don't find a reason why they should stop these grudges on grounds of religion, tradition, cultural sects, are the Indians. These folk are so stupid. And I know YouTube is going to call me up onto this. But why should people hate others? Why should they discriminate others because of their mere skin color, mere tradition, mere um, culture, mere religion? Like, really, have we not left that in the 21st century? Have we not left that? If you want to kill Indians, you don't have to hire a hitman. You just have to wake up one morning and throw among us them an Indian from a different sect. It could be tradition, it could be religion, it could be cultural. And the job will be well done. But really, why would you love to be reduced to that? Why should you let your brain be reduced to that? So folks, we're getting into 2023. But if you have a grudge, just know you are equated to someone that carries a hamper of poo. Where are you going to sell it? What's the benefit? It's useless weight. And if you think you're going to keep this grudge, just know you're running a business at a loss. I'm Seema. Until next time, please stick around.